you have once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Okay, hello YouTube, this is Glappermaker1003, welcome back to Resident Evil. Uh, Resident Evil 2, blind playthrough, Claire's story. In the last episode we did some stuff, and some stuff, stuff, stuff. Well, I just gotta check on something, a uh, circle, map. Good. <laughs> I was afraid on the save data. Now, I've got some information in part two that if you come to settings... Uh, which one was it? Was it this? No. Okay, config. So, which I think means the aim. So let's try using that. I was told that um, <coughs> by you know who who is watching that I could do the thing that will allow my aiming uh, to automatically aim on a zombie. So say like if the zombie has gone down and I don't know whether it's still alive, well, undead, or I've actually killed it. Said that I could do that so I could actually find out. Plus it will... Also, aiming on the enemy should also help me to conserve some ammo. So then, put this, um... Whoa, hold on, not that. The ink ribbon. Put the ink ribbon away. And we're gonna move on. Gonna keep on moving. Why am I not turning? What's this? Oh, oh how did I not notice this? Ooh, first aid spray. I like it. You come with me, beach. Good. There's still not nothing crawling in the window. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like the feeling of the liquors. But for with the liquor, he was actually very, very slow for moving. Was it because I was standing still? Wait a minute. That looks suspicious. Oh, it was. Cannot be acti uh, activated since the cord is cut. Ah, but since that was actually something I could interact with, that means I must need to find some kind of wire to repair it. Maybe. Alright then, so where am I going? I am going... Down this hallway and to the one that through the door there where it shows up to the stairs. There's a whole bunch of zombies in that area. I'm gonna try to avoid them if possible. Something tells me I'm not gonna get that lucky. Okay, here we go. It's locked. Diamond. Mm -hmm. Die. Head off a moi. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, what the fuck? Why'd I go that way? Um, is there anything in that area there? Probably uh, a horrible something. But I cannot be Arceus to do it. I kind of want to try to save my ammo if possible, but doing that will definitely not save my health. Okay. I'm not auto-aiming. Alright then. I wonder if I'm actually going to meet anybody soon. The doorknob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed on the other side. Ooh, something's here. Let's see, what does this have to say? Suffolk is written on the mount on the mountain. The god of the sun and the god of the moon, their gaze upon me was the only thing that could release the red soul. Ah, must be these statues. 
Ah, right, yeah, a blue one. Oh, they're gaze upon. All right, so I have to do this, put them in their opposite place. So this has got to go over here. Yeah, I can already see this puzzle. Gonna do the moonwalk. Uh, okay, let's do this. Weep, 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 weep. And the dog is barking. Get over here. <coughs> there we go. The moon one is now in place. Now to deal with the sun god. Let's see, I should be able to put it over here. Oh, no, it must have to go this way. Should be me right round. Oh, for God's sake, I cannot control this game. Ugh, let me in. Push it. What the f- What? Why can I not move this statue? Is this one stuck? Thank you. Okay, that should do- No, 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 no. Now you push it without me consent. Okay, let's move this over here. Okay, now just push this in spot and I should get the red soul. God damn it, Claire! God damn it, Claire! <laughs> Why won't she push it? <sighs> this controls are fiddly. There we go. We got the red gem. I think. Oh, well, is it the jewel? Yes. Okay, I have to admit, I am definitely not in control of this anymore, which could cause me problems down the line. Um, map, please. Let's see. I'm there. Man, this is almost like the same map as the mansion back in the Resident Evil 1. Damn. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I know for a fact then there's going to be zombies down these hallways, but these zombies aren't as hard to dodge as the first one. Nope, not all the way, man. Guess I'm going in here. Alright, this looks like an office of some kind. Oh, it's the stars members area. Alright then, I might find some good stuff in here. Chris Redfield. Hmm. What's this? Always gotta check. Look like anything on this desk. Anything over here? Nothing? Okay, what's this? Nothing? Okay, it looks like this is suspicious. Oh. <coughs> Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refuses to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted the T-Virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion along with any criminal evidence since Umbrella employs so many... Uh, wait. Employs so many people in town there is no one willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at the random at random forts of the city. What? Uh, this must be the work of Umbrella. Uh, with the help of Jill and Barry, I finally attained the information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun researching on a new G-Virus, variation to the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talk this over and have decided to fly to the main umbrella HQ in Europe. It won't tell I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. <coughs> okay. Oh, what's that? Pizza? 
Oh, no, it's a unicorn medallion. Oh, god damn it, a unicorn, seriously. Talk about tacky. Wait, a medallion! Oh, I gotta use that back in the, in the first area with the fountain. Alright. Anything else? Hmm, this isn't... <laughs> There's gotta be something else in here, like some ammo or something would be really nice. Is that a first aid? Looks like a rookie desk. A rookie desk? This must be... Nah, it can't be Rebecca. Hmm. What's this? Oh, this looks suspicious. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Shotgun! Oh no, it's not a shotgun, it's a G launcher. A grenade launcher? Hell yeah! Okay, grenade launcher. That could come in handy. But somebody tells me they might uh, this game. Whoa. <coughs> Animation! Alright, let's check this out. Uh, as per your request, we have conducted our interviews to discover the following information. One, regarding the G-Virus currently in development by Umbrella Inc. So far, it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We, uh, we're continuing our investigation. Number two, regarding Mr. Bri uh, Brains... No, no, wait, Bri Brian, Brian, Brian! Uh, Iron's uh, Chief of Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the mansion lab cease along with the oh wait lab case along with several other incidents which have Umbrella appear to have directly involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate accounts during his years as a university student he's underwent a psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges but was released due to circumstance i can't say that word too big uh, evidence as well has his uh, phenomenal amedetic standing so such extreme caution is advised when dealing with him okay don't tell me this Mr. Brian is in this building. Rape, and I'm a woman. Well, I'm playing a woman. <laughs> I'm not a woman! I'm playing more than playing one! Okay, let's continue. Oh, this place is really empty. Not complaining. It's locked. Okay, looks like I gotta go back to the main area and use this uh, unicorn medallion on the fountain to continue. it will probably give me a key which will unlock some more doors. That seems about right. <coughs> Around 13 minutes. How about we get to the the fountain? And uh, get whatever I'm going to get and we'll call it apart from there. I get the feeling these zombies are gonna get in my way. See if I can get past them without any trouble. Let's do this. <coughs> I could have gone past them the first time without getting bit, but I lost control of myself. Let's see. Positioning! Yes! Made it! Whew. Okay, these zombies are not that bad. I don't have to waste my ammo on these. And I'd rather not. Oh! Holy fucking hell! That scared the shit out of me! Oh my god! Stay away from the windows! Stay away, please! God! Oh my god, that is scaring the hell out of me! Holy shit, you're probably laughing your head off. Or laughing your heads off. Oh my god. Okay. We made it. Why does it look like uh, Claire's got green bands now? 
Oh, she doesn't have green mans now. Hmm, must have been the lighting. Alright then, let's go and deal with this medallion. <coughs> do 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 do. Alright. Yep, the unicorn. <laughs> Must give it up. <coughs> wow, precision. <laughs> give me that key. The person's key. I'm guessing this is the diamond key? Why did I have to use the diamond key again? Let's check it. Shape. Oh, no, 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 it's the spade. Okay, I don't remember where I've had to use spade. So we'll probably just end up having to go through all the rooms again. But we pretty much killed off all the zombies, except for that one area. Health is only in caution, so we should be alright. Hmm, I might want to put away the G-Launcher. Save its ammo for later. And probably put away this first aid, this first aid spray save that so yeah that'll do for this part i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll catch you all in the next part of resident evil 2 blind playthrough class story see you